All right, so I'm journeying back to the bubble. Um, Making it so. Neutron stars are the stellar remnants of massive stars that have reached the end of their lives. Once nuclear fusion was exhausted, the star collapsed into a tiny volume. Because of its high mass, the matter has collapsed into neutron degenerate matter, sometimes called neutronium, an extremely high density state made up entirely of neutrons. Matter composed of stuff other than atoms, such as quarks, protons, neutrons, or whatever, is referred to as degenerate matter. Unlike okay. most degenerate matter with electrons article. below the Fermi energy, the compression is so great that the Fermi energy of the electrons increases such that they combine with protons to form neutrons. As the star is in equilibrium, its gravity is balanced by neutron degeneracy pressure compressed neutron wave functions which are energetic due to the uncertainty principle. Though with more mass, the system's gravity would overcome the neutron degeneracy pressure, forming a black hole. Degenerate matter stars are as dense as matter can possibly be without becoming a black hole. Note: Take caution when approaching these stars. Getting closer than 0.25 light seconds is extremely dangerous to the ship and your very existence. All right, so you see, um, about 2,000 light years out, and I'm very close to Bernard's Loop. Should be somewhere around here. Warning, frameshift drive operating beyond safety limits. Frameshift okay, drive. Okay, executing now. This should put us uh, fairly close to the to the nebula, actually. Remember, Bernard's loop was that's when we came out to that system, the HIP something something system to do our farming, and uh, that was about 1,700 light years out. So we should be fairly close to that. Much closer to the galaxy now is much prettier, and there's the nebula. It's pretty impressive. Engage warp drive. I'm sorry. Frame shift drive charging. Course adjustment. Three, two. Scan for cartography. Class K stars are yellow orange main sequence stars with a long and generally stable life. They range in mass from 0.6 to 0.9 solar masses and have a surface temperature reaching 5,000 Kelvin. There's a nebula. It's very impressive. Engage warp drive. <clears throat> Engaging jump drive. Adjusting for jump. Completing system scan for cartography. Oh. That's 
not a fuel star, is it? <laughs> wow, the nebula is really impressive from here. That is impressive. Let's take a screenshot. Enough sightseeing. Engage warp drive. Frameshift drive charging. It's not a Titari star. Four, three, two, one, engage. Scanning now, collating, compiling data, updating Kartoff's star. T Tori type stars are very young stars which are in the process of gravitational contraction. Take caution when traveling and using a refueling module, as the TTS appearance often resembles M or K glass stars. close to the nebula now. Let's take another shot of that. That's impressive. Is it as impressive as the um, Rosette Nebula? I don't think so, but it's still impressive. At some point, we probably come back out here and spend a little bit more time, but um, sort of in a rush to get back. Engage warp drive. Frame shift Frame now engaging. I think those are other galaxies, because they sort of stay in the same position, which means they're far away. Completing system scan. Stand by. Gathering information, class Cartography has now been updated. Class A stars are hot white or bluish white main sequence stars. They range in mass from 1.4 to 2.1 solar masses and have a surface temperature reaching 10,000 Kelvin. getting close to it, aren't we? I wouldn't be surprised if that next star is in it. When I plotted a course for home, I didn't plan this. We'll see. Engage warp drive. Jump drive, engaging. 
Now entering in you know, Orion Spur. Okay, finally. And actually going to a neutron star. Okay. So the inner Orion Spur, that's our neck of the woods. That's where Earth and the other um, human systems are. Scanning for information. Neutron star. Neutron stars are the stellar remnants of massive stars that have reached the end of their lives. Once nuclear fusion was exhausted, the star collapsed into a tiny volume. Because of its high mass, the matter has collapsed into neutron degenerate matter, sometimes called neutronium, an extremely high density state made up entirely of neutrons. Nine matter composed of stuff other than atoms, such as quarks, protons, neutrons, or whatever, is referred to as degenerate matter. Unlike most degenerate matter, where the electrons are below the Fermi energy, the compression is so great that the Fermi energy of the electrons increases such that they combine with protons to form neutrons. As the star is in equilibrium, its gravity is balanced by neutron degeneracy pressure, compressed neutron wave functions which are energetic due to the uncertainty principle. Though with more mass, the system's gravity would overcome the neutron degeneracy pressure, forming a black hole. Degenerate matter stars are as dense as matter can possibly be without becoming a black hole. Note, take caution when approaching these stars. Getting closer than 0.25 light seconds is extremely dangerous to the ship and your very existence. All right, so what's going on? Why is my plotting, why is it not, why is it failing to plot? So that's Bernard's loop though. So, um, exit. Alright, so let's try this again. Galaxy map. Galaxy map. Okay, so. Why? Okay. Let's. Pull up on the star first. Stellar cartography. Stellar cartography. Ugh. Why is this happening? Okay, this makes no sense. Where are we? Let's go someplace a little closer. Requires unknown permit. Huh. 121 sector. Hmm. That's interesting. Let's bookmark that. So, um, I just, I find that interesting. Alright, so where are we? We are here. There's a galaxy. We're trying to get over there. Alright. So I guess let's go down here. Let's try this one. W why do all of these require an unknown permit? Okay, let's try. Okay, 
Okay, we just we gotta get a little closer. Alright, you know what? Let's just head closer to the nebula. How about that? Where are we? We are here. So let's try this guy. Who's this? How far are you? Okay, I don't get it. Why? Why do you guys require a permit? Oh, maybe that's why I couldn't plot a course. Because this, for some reason, these saws require a permit, so I gotta go around. But how do I do that? plot across there because it's taking me through space that requires a permit, okay? So let's try to do this another way. So we are here. Um, well, are we here? Which one are we? Where, where are we? Are we here? I don't know. Which one of those? Okay, we are in. Are we trying to get here. We couldn't go there. So we are down here. Okay, so we over here. How about we try to jump over here? That's pretty far away, but let's see. But this one. Okay, I, I think I may be trying to jump too far. This? Okay, I am getting further and further away. This doesn't make sense. Let's exit that. System map. Display map. Okay, where are we? We are in what? We are in Ocherios, whatever, right? System map. System map. Is, it, is this? Executing now. Okay, galaxy map. So we are in the Ocherios. Galaxy map. Galaxy map. Displaying map. Are we trying to get there, but it's not going to plot? Alright, so we are. We are in. No, we're not there. We are here, okay? So let's go back closer to us. Um, okay, so maybe here. Let's try this. This one. Well, these things are all very far away. Okay, I don't get it. Why is everything failing? Okay, let's get closer. So this is where we're at, right? Are we trying to head? Let's just go closer to the to the nebula. So this guy, seven eight light years. We could do better than that, right? An unknown permit. Nope. Okay, what about. Wow. So, okay, everything in this, in Bernard's Nebula, seems to require an unknown permit. Let's try to go this way. This should work. Actually, I thought I should be able to do that in one jump. Anyway, the plot it. Let's do this. So there's something about Bernard's loop and these stars. They're not letting me in. Engage warp drive. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
Oh, sorry. Uh, jump drive. Engaging. Uh, but this is taking me the wrong way. No, no. Let's stop. 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 That's taking me the opposite direction. I don't need to be going the opposite direction. Stellar cartography. Galaxy map. All right. So let's. Yeah, that, that, uh, that is taking me backwards. What about like over here? Okay. Well, I could do this on one jump. Alright. Let's try this. Does this take me forward? Hold on. That... Hold up, this, that doesn't make sense. I want you to take me forward. Stellar cartography. Stellar cartography. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's, that's backwards. Okay, that's... Alright, so let's try you right here. This should be right in front of me. Oh man, what? Why? This just seems okay. Engage warp drive. Charging frame shift drive. Charging. Nope, that's not what I want to do. Okay, why is it? Something's going on. Stellar cartography. Complying. Oh, that's why, because I am, where am I? I am here. I'm down here. Okay, that's... Okay, so if I am here, let's try to go to you. Um... And you? Stellar cartography. Stellar cartography. Hasta la vista, baby. Uh, okay, where, where am I? I'm the blue one. Okay, so I am trying to head... Okay, this map is confusing me. Better. What about you? Um, okay. Um, uh, what about you guys? Okay, what about you? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's too far anyway. Okay, let's go back to you. Ah, oh, man, why why do all of these require a permit? Hope it up to you. Do you require a permit as well? So do you? Okay, now this is a major problem now. Everybody requires a permit. What about... What about the star where I came from? You require a permit as well. Permit. So everything in the nebula requires a permit that appears. So 
so okay okay well let's let's plot away from the nebula unknown permit okay now this is insane this makes no sense it requires unknown permit so every single one of these stars requires an unknown permit Okay, this, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening here, but I am somehow stuck in a sector of space, and I can't get out. Uh, okay. Let's see. If we... How far are we to a beagle? Okay, so let's set a course here. Let's see if this somehow can plot, which I highly doubt. Yep, no big surprise there. Alright, so I am just stuck. Let's try to go around. Man, and it's like everywhere around here. Okay, let's switch back to realistic. Let's try to go under it. Oh, that's, that's backwards. No. Okay, so that's... All of that is going backwards. This is still going backwards. Okay. Alright, so... Nebula, you are very pretty, but you're causing me some serious problems. Alright, so let's clear everything. Alright. It's my current location. But I cannot get there. Okay, let's do this. So at least we gotta move on. But this is behind me, I guess. Uh, well, I guess it's down. I'll go down. Okay, engage warp drive. Engage warp drive. Jumping. That's not cool.
All systems check out. No unusual I'm access. correcting the anomaly now. Class K stars are yellow-orange main sequence stars with a long and generally stable life. They range in mass from 0.6 to 0.9 solar masses and have a surface temperature reaching 5,000 Kelvin. What is this system? Alright, so, um... Alright, so I think we'll call it a night here. While I try to figure out how to get home. Without... Try to figure out how to get home without going through this massive nebula. This can have metallic ores near the surface in places, especially around areas of past volcanism. System map. System cartography. Exiting map. System map. Alright, so we'll land on this planet until we figure out what to do. What is a, a, a bit of repair, a frame shift drive also while we're at it. <coughs> I should have just checked the map to see if it was landable. Yeah, those two, I think those are two other galaxies. Because if you remember when we were getting close to Rosette Nebula, it, it was, you saw the same two galaxies. Well, same two um, stellar bodies. Three-quarter impulse. Acknowledged. Three-quarter impulse. Now.
All stop. Affirmative. Slowing to a full engine stop. Well, that's not fast enough. Anything on him? Nothing. Alright, we'll land still though. Where's the nebula? Behind us? It is beautiful. So we'll land in and call it a night. We'll be lying right inside of that crater that has a mountain that's very similar looking to the, the one we landed in last time. in this crater. Prepare for landing. Gear down. Take it. Drive assist on. I didn't mean for this video to go so long. Low gravity warning. Yeah, so those are those two. I think those are galaxies over there. We didn't come here for those. We came here for that view.
All right, so we'll call it a night, and hopefully next time when you guys send me, I'll would have figured out a way to get out of here. All right, so peace out.